Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well and had a good day so far. Today we are working with fine liners to create a series of honeycomb pictures that you can rearrange at your wall the way you like it and create your own personal honeycomb wall piece. I created the first hexagon by using a circle and a set square and cut it out with a scalpel. By using a ruler you can ensure you cut straight but you have to be very careful doing this. If you use too much pressure the scalpel may slide over the edge of the ruler and into your finger. Nobody wants that. So try to cut just slightly and multiple times instead of doing one strong single cut into the paper. Since my motifs are based on bees and honey this time, it was obvious for me to choose a hexagon as the format for my pictures. It just fits the topic perfectly and since I love to experiment with different and unusual formats in general, it was the best choice for this. Stay tuned for the end of the video, you will see how all these single pictures come together as one big beautiful honeycomb piece.
When you do a series like this, in which you're working with more or less the same motive or topic in every picture, make sure to catch different angles of it. Try to switch between close-ups and some wider shots, maybe even total shots if you like. Choose perspectives from above or beneath. To make your series more diversified, it just looks more interesting. Coming to this picture, I decided to fill the background black. When you are working with fine liners and your focus is primarily on only one motive, object or person in a picture, painting the background black is a good way to fill out blank space. It can also be a very effective way to intensify the light-dark contrast in a picture, which is always a good thing in my opinion. The reason why I didn't do it in every picture is that you must keep the light-dark contrast of the whole series in mind. None of the picture actually stands alone. They could, but they are stronger together. That's what's actually intended by a series like this. 
so I kept some pictures lighter and others darker to make sure the light dark contrast in the complete piece would still work. I chose to work with fine liners for this series because it fits the bee's color theme black and yellow very well but also because I like the potential dramatic effect of it when you are shading a bit rougher. I recommend giving fine liners a try if you haven't already. It's a medium that's very beginner friendly and you can easily achieve very impressive shading effects depending on your shading technique. If you would like me to do a tutorial around fine liners and the different shading techniques I am using, let me know in the comments below so that we can feed the YouTube algorithm.
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any upcoming videos. I am working with many different types of media, art styles and techniques, not only drawing techniques but also a lot of painting, cutouts and more. And I'm already looking forward to what's coming next. So stay tuned, have a good day and happy creating!